Okay, welcome back. This is the last four questions of the study for study guide for the final in um, algebra uh, for Cardinal Newman. So what I have here is um, compound interest formula. So I've written out, so A is our final amount. That's the amount, the balance in the account at the end of what we're talking about. P is the initial value. Um, what the account starts with. R is the interest rate as a decimal. Uh, T is the time periods, usually years, and N is the number of times that it's compounded per period. So the question reads, find the balance in the account. So then it, it lists what our values are. It says um, the principal is 800. Uh, the interest rate is 7%, so that's 0 0.07. So it's semi-annual. Which is two times a, per year. And we want uh, 12 years. Which, so T is 12 years. So A is what I'm solving for. Uh, so this I'll put him in the right spot, hopefully. 800. 1 plus R over N is our interest rate 0 0.07 over N, which is 2, to the NT. So that's 2 times 12. If you have a graphing calculator, you can do this in one shot. What I'm going to do is start. That's not going to pick up, is it? That's okay. I don't have a backlit one. I start here. So this is 1 plus, well, let's clear it out, 0 0.07 over 2, 0 0.035 plus 1. So I'm going to rewrite this. 800. So what I did was here, and that's 1.035 to the 24th power. So I'll do... 1.035 to the 24th, I'll get 2.28 times 800. And the, if it doesn't say what you round to, you're going to round to the nearest cent, which is 1, 8, 2, 6, and then I get uh, 6627. So, I get uh, one thousand eight hundred twenty-six dollars and sixty-six cents, and I say, "Well, is this is this reasonable?" Well, obviously, if you get something lower than what you started with, it's not. Um, Seven percent is a solid interest rate, and it's over twelve years, so it's compounding twenty-four times. So I'll just run. I'll just punch it in one more time. Eight hundred times one plus seven over two power of twenty-four. Yeah, getting the same thing. Okay, so. We're in another room. Now I'm not perfect, so it's possible I make an error somewhere. Feel free to point them out and feel free to ask questions. And um, I will try and get to them in a reasonable amount of time. 48. So this is from the growth and decay uh, part, losing my focus. There we go. I guess I got to leave that there. 48 says, suppose the population of the town is 16,000, 600. So 16,600. It's growing 1% each year. It wants us to write an equation to model the population growth. Okay. So I guess a function will name it. So f of, I guess, uh, we'll do x, right? So I take 16,600. So how do we, re how do we represent a um, growth of 1%? Well, if I, uh, I want it to, I want it growing. So it's got to be over one, right? If it's one, exactly. If, if, 
we're going to have a number here raised to uh, right x. So if this number is less, is between zero and one, then the population is going down. If the if it's over one, then the population is growing. So a growth of one percent is right. One percent is 0 0.01. So this is 1.01. Uh, now depending on how they do this. Um, Sometimes, right? If x is zero, so I'm using sort of zero to be the initial time. So if x is zero, 1.01 .01 to the zero is one. So that, so that tells us we start with 16,600. Um, so what can we do with a, a uh, equation like this? Well, we can answer that. So this is a, right? This is write the equation. B says what happens after six years. So I say, well, f of 6 is equal to 16,600 times 1.01 .01 to the 6th. So, and, you know, on a graphing calculator, you can just do it left to right, but I'll do 1.01 .01 power 6, 1 1.06 times 16,600. Now I'm going to this is about what I'm going to do is truncate this. I'm going to round it down because if you you know you won't get fractions of individuals, right? So uh, seventeen thousand six hundred twenty-one. So even though I have like point two three four five, it doesn't make sense to uh, include that or to round up. So um, most cases with population, you'll just truncate or round down. All right, forty-nine. says write the polynomial in standard form g minus 9g cubed plus 7g squared minus 3 so standard form is descending order so there's uh, I can't combine any of these because I have a linear a cubic a quadratic and a constant so I'll, I'll say negative 9g cubed plus 7g squared plus g minus 3. So that's uh, standard form, descending order, and there's nothing I could, I would combine like terms first if I could. 50 says uh, classify the expression with its name. 10x squared minus 6x plus 3. What that usually means is classify by uh, power and number of terms. So it's in descending order. So my highest power is the leading term, power of the leading term, which is 2. So that is a quadratic. And then I have 1, 2, 3 terms. So that's a trinomial. Okay, I think that's the end of the study guide. So um, you know, I will go back and do the first half um, in a, in a, shortly, and if uh, there are questions, you know, go ahead and post them. Thank you very much. Study hard, and good luck to everybody. Thank you.